Hey guys, this is going to be a relatively like short video, hopefully. I kind of want to make this fast and not, <clears throat> not 20 minutes long, uh, but we'll see. So this will be showing you how to get Voxel Sniper to work on the latest version of Minecraft, which at the time of recording is 1.16.4. This will work on later versions, so 1.16.5, 1.17, and so on, as long as the plugin that I'll show you in a second is updated. And I'll show you how to check that. So the first thing... To just go over is that this is going to be for a server not for single player now that doesn't mean you can't do this on your own you can't do this like it's single player you can just host the server on your computer and connect through localhost just as if you're playing single player uh if you want to and that's what i've been doing for years to get access to some plugins when i play you know like if i want to do a survival world with like warps and homes and stuff you can do that perfectly fine uh the only difference is you have to start the server before you can join it um, there is a way to do a completely single player, but I want to kind of look into that more before I do a video. So that's kind of where that stands, but let's get into the actual video. Okay, so I mentioned that you need a server, so you can either use paper or you can use spigot. Uh, I would recommend using paper just because uh, it has better performance. So my server is currently, that I'm going to do the tutorial on, is on a paper MC server, and it's running the latest version as of the video. Uh, if you don't know how to if you don't have a server and you need one I have two videos on my channel that you can watch if you want So if you want to do a spigot server, you can watch this one from three years ago It says 1.12 This should work exactly the same as one point as it should it should be exactly the same as the video The only thing you have to change is The build command for build tools you'll want to make sure you specify the latest version of minecraft which currently is 1.16.4 uh, otherwise, I have two Paper MC videos you can watch. They're both relatively the same. This one is 14 minutes for some reason, and this one is seven. Okay, I'll have to figure out why this one, <laughs> why this one's double the time. But yeah. Um, anyway, once you have a server, you can download Voxel Sniper. So what we need is we actually need two things. We need uh, uh, Fastest Sync World Edit, and we need Fastest Sync Voxel Sniper. So go to the, link, the next link in the description, which will be the Spigot page for Fastest Sync World Edit, and click Download Now via External Site. Now this is going to link you to the Jenkins. Now, like 15 minutes ago, I added error on here. Uh, so if you get some, if you get a page that just looks like this, okay, all you have to do to fix it is delete uh, everything before uh, slash job and after. So it should just be the URL. Now if I click Enter. This will bring me to the Jenkins. So that's how you fix it. If you get the error, if you don't have that error, don't worry about it. So next, we're gonna do fastest sync world edit in Foz. We're gonna scroll down just a little bit and click the first one. So the first one is just fastest sync voxel sniper. Now you're gonna make sure you download the latest uh, su uh, successful artifact, and it ends in a .jar. And we're gonna save that into our plugins folder. So this is my server folder. Inside plugins, we're going to save that. Now we're going to go back to the fastest sync world edit in Foz. And we're going to download the world edit as well. Because for this version of Voxel Sniper, you also need world edit. So we're going to save this one as well. Now that's good. Now if I minimize this and I go to my plugins folder, you can see I have uh, Voxel Sniper and world edit on my server. So now I can start the server and that will work should work perfectly fine. So it loads up. And now you see I have uh, Voxel Sniper and World Edit loaded onto the server. So you have Voxel Sniper working. The only thing you want to make sure is that you do op yourself. Uh, and to op yourself, you do op space your name. So my player is already an operator. So that's not going to do anything. If you are not an operator, it'll say, you know, Turner has been opt or your name has been opt. Uh, so that's how you do that. So this is basically where you're at. You can use Voxel Sniper if you log into the server. Now I'm going to show you real quick how to transfer your world from single player to uh, your server if you're somebody who you know has a single player build that you want to you know, work on, but you just want Voxel Sniper to make mountains or something. Uh, to do that, it's really easy. Just go to your start menu and type percent app data percent. Go to .minecraft, go to saves, and I'm just going to drag these kind of over. 
Now, I don't care what this world is because I just generated. So I'm going to copy my survival world because pretend this is the one I want to work on. I'm going to paste it on my server. Now I'm just going to rename this to world and it's going to work fine. The only problem you might have is if the world is on an older version of Minecraft, you should make, make sure you make a backup of the world. Uh, and then paper should convert it fine if you just start up the server. But if it airs out, you can always try to convert it in Minecraft and then copy the converted file, the converted world to the server. So now if I connect to the server, which I you know, don't have Minecraft open for some reason. So this will load up in a second. I'm sorry. I go to multiplayer and I go to localhost, like what I was saying. Now I'm on the server in my single player world. So I do slash game mode creative because I opt myself, I can fly. So before I get into Voxel Sniper, I kind of want to talk about the documentation a little bit. Okay, sorry guys, I'm cutting in here. The last part of this video got way too long uh, and over bloated. I want this to kind of just be kind of to get you started with Voxel Sniper and get you comfortable and then you can kind of find the resources resources and look them up and watch YouTube videos uh, to kind of help you or just, or just play around with it because that's kind of how you learn, uh, just doing random commands. Um, but I'm gonna leave three links in the description for documentation and these three are the ones that I found that have been the most helpful to me. If you find any more, please tell me uh, so I can add them and pin them so other people can use them because I this has been the hardest part of trying to, of getting back into kind of Minecraft is trying to find voxel cyber documentation. <laughs> um, but the first link is the official voxel sniper page for Sponge. Now this just tells you kind of some uh, some shape brushes you can use. It shows you some more effect brushes. And the reason I link all three of these is because all three of them don't have the same stuff. They're kind of this one might have you know a few things that one might have another few things the next page uh, explains some more of like the overlay brush which I'll show you basically but you can do a lot more with it you can decide what brush it, uh, what blocks to overlay and stuff like that uh, you can make giant trees I'll show you the basic tree brush but in this version of Oxo Sniper it's kind of glitchy um, but I think world that it has the tree command and then the last one is this one which is nice because it shows you the erosion brushes and it shows you some more but it also has examples I want to do this. This is how I do it. Now you'll have to change this V to use the uh, the namespace and not the ID, which I'll show you. Which you'll you'll see after watching this video. Uh, but that's the only thing. So once you have that kind of just down, go back into Minecraft. And the two main things you're gonna want you're gonna want is an arrow and a piece of gunpowder. And the gunpowder just does the opposite of the arrow when you're doing erosion brushes. Uh, the arrow is going to be the normal tool and the main tool you use. Now, a quick note, there's lighting glitches with the current version. It seems to be if you're going into the train, it creates lighting glitches. I don't know why. Um, I believe it, it's probably something just with this version of Minecraft and uh, the version of Voxel Sniper. It might not be updated uh, fully yet. Uh, there are a few plugins that will fix this but they aren't updated yet sadly either so that is a note on the current version i am using on your version if you're watching this a few months from now it might be fixed or watching it a year from now it might be fixed um it'll probably be fixed i just want you to know that and you just to fix it you just got to go around and hit the blocks and then put light and then destroy it it's it's annoying but i don't know but building above doesn't do it so i'm going to show you the basic brushes so the brushes on this page right here i'm just going to go through a few of them you access them all the same way and then I'll show you one where you have to set the height of the villager or the cylinder sorry <laughs> which you can see right here okay I want to open minecraft not that so slash uh, B will be for brush and this is kind of your main command so this if I set this to ball that will be you know for a ball or I can just do B now it sets my brush type to ball now you see my brush size is 5 if I want to change the size which this is the default or this is the size of five. If I want to make that bigger. I just do slash B for brush space a number. So we'll do 15 that changes to a larger size. Now say I don't want my brush to be grass. I want to be stone. I do slash V space the namespace. So Minecraft stone 
and then I right click and now it's stone so that's that's really simply and you see kind of the lighting glitches um, that's kind of the brushes now there are a few more you do like disk so D or disk and that will make a disk kind of good to know um, now the last one I cover is because you have to do another command is the cylinder so I do slash B space C uh, or I can just type cylinder out you see my burst size is set to 15 and my height is 20 now your height will be zero probably so how you change that is you do slash V H space a number so this is for my height so if I change this to 13 it's gonna change my height down to 13 now after changing your height you don't have to type the slash B C again to show the cylinder I'm just typing it just to show that my brush height was changed to 13 so it was 20 and now it's 13 so now if I right click if I undo that <laughs> if you type slash U you can undo something and I'm gonna change my brush size down to 5 <laughs> so you can see it made a large size uh, now if I make a bunch of these okay and it's like oh, I don't want I don't want all these you know I can do slash U 4 and that undoes the last four selections. Now, by default, it's uh, the only or the number of undos that are stored in cache is 20. If you want to increase that, it might increase memory usage. I don't know, uh, but you just have to do that in the configuration file in the plugins folder that I don't have open anymore. Oh my gosh! Right here, plugins. In this config file, you just changed undo cache size to something else like 20 or 30 or 40 uh, let's say so now just to show you if I do slash bh 20 it changes to 20 so I don't have to do the uh, slash B cylinder it's just I just want to show you that it my brush size did change um, so that's the basic brush sizes or sorry the shape uh, the shape brushes uh, now you can do kind of erosion brushes so if you do slash B uh, e for erosion space uh, we'll just do melt now these are the brushes that are going to help you uh, terraform. Now actually, I remembered quickly, before you do this you want to get rid of the grass and you know trees and flowers and to do that you do slash B erase. Now the reason you want to do this is because as you terraform, I'm going to make my brush size bigger so we'll do 20. As you terraform if there is grass, which I'll show you in a second, when you're melting and you know terraforming the land it will have a result that you do not want <laughs> it'll glitch uh, so do slash B E and we'll go back to the melt brush now I'm gonna set my brush size is set to 20 so I'm gonna set that down to we'll just do 8 now if I right click it kind of melts away that so now with the gunpowder it does the opposite so instead of melting it kind of fills So it fills up. If I go in here, it kind of fills it together. Melt it away. Like that. So you can also do slash uh, B E lift. And that will lift the terrain up, as the name suggests. Kind of like that. If I go over here, it kind of like, you know, lifts it like that. And then if you use the gunpowder, because that's the opposite on the erosion brushes, it kind of push it back and you see all the lighting glitches hopefully you guys don't have that in your version um, you can do slash B E smooth as well now this doesn't always look the best so use it kind of sparingly but basically what it does is it smooths the terrain so if I right click it smooths the terrain all out so as you see like that doesn't look good in my opinion like that looks better but I don't know that's just that brush it does smooth it out uh, now if you want to you know if you're done making your mountains and you want to make it like I want my mountains to be grassy you do slash B overlay overlay if I can spell and I set my uh, material to grass and we'll do grass block so slash V grass block and if I right click it overlays my selection of grass so that's overlaying that's kind of nice so there's also lines so if you do slash B line you can make lines different places so if I right click here take out my gunpowder and right click here it'll make a line so I do the same thing 
now it does do it keeps your current point so I right click here and I select there there's a line there a line there a line there 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 everywhere um, so it kind of draws out lines so that's kind of nice now I believe that's it there was one more thing that oh the trees I want to show you the trees so you could do be warned the trees are kind of glitchy world edit i think has this option so it might just be worth looking into that but if you do slash bt apparently this is supposed to you know work but it really doesn't so my brush size is 20 so as you see like it it worked there there it didn't work here no matter how much i click it doesn't work it doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work doesn't works so i don't know why it works in some places and it doesn't in others like it, it should work there there's plenty of space there's nothing below it but it doesn't work but it works right there and there so if you do slash you know bt and then you know uh we'll do fall redwood it says no such tree type but if i do slash bt okay tall redwood as you see it says no such tree type but it sucks it <laughs> but if i right click it's kind of placing them so I just wanted to kind of show you this because there is a way to place them, but Voxel Sniper is kind of, I guess, glitchy in that sense. So it might be worth using World Edit. But hopefully this video kind of helped you, gives you an introduction, kind of shows you the basics of it. Now you can, you know, it'll be a lot easier for you to learn uh, and look up and just kind of understand the documentation when you're reading it. Um, so if you have any ideas, you know, please let me know. If you like the video, give it a like, you know, dislike it, whatever. Uh, anything kind of helps. Um... If you have any problems, leave a comment. I'll try to help you when I can. I work in school now, so I don't have as much time as I used to have. Uh, but other than that, hopefully you have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.